Hello, hello, familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. If you are new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my old goodie. Guess what? Her eyebrows are glued down but not filled in because I went to Walmart. <laughs> This is actually my very first shop with me video to Walmart. I was like, all right, I feel like my drugstore is sort of lacking. So I went in the store to grab what's new slash things I haven't tried. And I also really wanted to update my powder collection because I owe you guys a powder roundup. That's gonna take some time because I really wanna test these powders out to see. And you know how I feel about powder. Without further ado, let's go shopping. Good morning. First stop, cover girl. Let's see, let's see. There's good options here. We're at Milani. I think I have everything from Milani. L'Oreal. Oh, wrong shade. Some only. Oh my gosh, not some hot Cheetos makeup. <laughs> so cute. Let's do one of these. We try chocolate. HD. It's a finishing powder versus matte finishing powder. Yes, please. Nice to be at Walmart so early. No one's here. I legit think the lady at Walmart was following me. I think she thought I was gonna steal. Like, girl, I mean, I was there a long time because I was really trying to figure out what's what. By the way, not every brand has a loose powder and a blush. I mean, they do, but they don't. Like, they look kind of old school. I've never really done like a deep dive at the drugstore, really taking my time. And it's good to know what they have, especially Walmart. I feel like Walmart has a bigger selection of things. So let's go home and film. Okay, as you saw, all the goodies I got, and I also didn't get everything because there's a few things I have already. This was the only thing that I probably, oh no, these two were the things that I was kind of updating. This is an updated shade from the Milani Concealer. You know, I love this. And also the tan powder from NYX because I needed these shades. I already just did my skincare a while ago because I filmed another video. Oh, you guys saw it already. My how to identify your undertone slash updating your foundation shade. Prime the skin first. This is brand spanking new. It's not even at the store yet at Walmart. This primer is from NYX. It is their face glue. Literally, it's a glue. And I just had coffee. I'm like so jittery right now. Oh my. We're gonna mix this in. This is Latina Brown Skin Makeup. Let's see how it works. Let's see if it's approved. We're gonna just add this glue on. If you let it dry down, it does get sticky, but you don't wanna add too much because then it's too sticky. As we wait for the primer to dry, let's use the NYX Brow Pencil, the Micro Brow Pencil. I used this a long time ago and I don't really remember if I like it. I got the shade Chocolate. I just added some Got To Be Glue. Didn't really see any new brow gels so that's why i just put a little bit of got to be glue and here we are this is how it looks this is like an oldie but goodie it's been around for like ever form this up oh my god this is so light you see how this is supposed to be chocolate right on my skin tone it looks very very light let's go with milani has one soft brown you see the difference you see how this one is more of a neutral this is warm so i will be having some red brows it really differs how a pencil is gonna look on your skin tone and how it mixes in with your hairs i have dark brow hairs therefore this could probably mix a little better than what's on my hand so let's see yeah it's a little on the light side yeah you see how it's red you know us, we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna get my pen. I was trying not to use the pen because I use it so much, but this NYX pen in Ash Brown online, this shade looks very ashy, a little gray, because I have a neutral undertone and I could run a little bit cool. It's like the perfect brown. So this way we could just darken the brows a little bit. My actual brow hairs 
help make the pen not look too red. I mean, pencil. Hold on. Let me get these brows right. I'm a little discombobulated already. And then we're just going to blend that. By the way, you guys, look what I bought at Walmart too. Should we try them? These are the King Hawaiian Bites. I'm excited. Let's grab one. Salty and sweet. 8 by 10, 11. Don't tell me that because I will do it. Oh my god, the bottle will be done in three, two, one. Did I eat three more pieces? I sure did. Ome, the shade 200 Light. This Clear Complexion Concealer has salicylic acid. Target to clear, calm, and restore. You saw as I was perusing the aisles, I really find that the drugstore has a lot of lip products, foundations, foundation powders. I feel like they lack variety of blushes besides Nick Bronzers for sure. And also the lighting in the drugstore is not great. I don't know. Something about it, it wasn't giving me much. Okay, let's clean up these, conce these concealers, these brows. I went to Walmart because I feel like Walmart has like, the best selection in the makeup aisle. Well, this concealer is kind of thick. Okay, let's see how it's gonna clean things up. It cleaned up the brows well. That's typically a good indication. You know, I love to prime with a good concealer. This concealer tone, it's like it's a little warm. This is a light medium. It doesn't look too, too light. Right now it does, but as I was applying it, not really. Let's let this dry down. We got a eyeshadow palette. I feel like we're lacking a bit of the eyeshadow palette tray. Look at the, this is so old school. I love it though. This legit works. I feel like it really gets that pigment. This is the CoverGirl True naked this one is 855 desert heat okay oh this oxidized black crazy this thins out when you let it dry down just like a smidge it thins out a lot is it the salicylic acid in this okay maybe if i don't let it dry down let's see if i go right on because i have very discolored lids you see how it kind of looks a little bit gray that typically tells me that we don't have a lot of pigment going on because it thins out a lot Oh, let's start with this shade. Okay, fallout. I'm gonna just tap it here on the crease. Because that concealer base is wet, this eyeshadow should really stick on. And it looks like it is. I'm gonna clean this off while this is pigmented. This eyeshadow palette, blending these edges out. Let's get this Real Techniques brush. Let's get the, it's like an eggplant shade. Because this brush is tiny, tiny, it's gonna deposit a lot of pigment. In that case, let's actually start adding it here. I'm gonna add it to the crease, but as I was telling you, the pigment, I'm like, okay, wait, that's gonna be our little baby wing. I really wanna pack it in. With this brush we used, let's start blending the edge out. It doesn't look too, too harsh. This right here, ooh, it feels creamy. Ooh. I feel like this is going to be very fall. The finger will get you the best pigment. It's also going to blend it well for you. you just kind of go back and forth. I see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's mix this one and this one for the inner corner. Let's see. A key. I'm going to grab a little more of the white or like the lighter shade. It's really nice. I feel like I'm losing some of this shade right here. So I'm going to grab it with a brush and then I'm just going to tap it. Blend it in with that inner corner because we don't want it to look all stark white. Is this the first shade we use? I think so. I'm going to blend, blend, blend. I feel like we need a bit of dimension. Let's grab this brushy brush, the deep shade, just a little bit because I don't know how this is going to look. Let's gonna blend, blend here. Connect it to that wing a little bit. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Now back in with that shimmer because I don't want that shimmer to go away. I see. And then we're gonna go back in to darken this up because there's shimmer on it. I see. We could connect it. Okay, not too shabby. First, first impression. It just lacks a little bit of pigment. I think that's a drugstore thing. Skin warmth does help it. Let's do this eye in three, two, done. Done, done. I got this thin, thin brush, got the deepest shade, and I kind of did this number. Oh my God, I have all this fallout on my face. Oh no, look at all this. I will be using some PR. I got this from Lottie London, Serving Lash, Intensely Volumizing Mascara. Lottie London is sold at CVS. I will link it down below. Oh my God, look how green this is. How cute. Okay, wand, wow. I want to do the mascara now so my lashes are dry by the time we finish our base. As you know, I don't wear falsies. Giving a little bit of volume, okay. I like the separation. 
I really like to like grab the lash and roll, 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 roll. Dries pretty quickly, so that means you have to move quickly. Fast drying mascara is nice, especially if you have fine lashes because it won't weigh it down. The only thing about that is you just want to move quick. I got some transfer there, so I'll fix that later. Some stuff on my hair. What is this? Look like that. Okay. You just want to work quickly. And the way you know like a mascara is quick drying, you like, feel it on your lash and you see it. When you're applying your mascara, when you do like the multiple layers, you'll just feel it because it won't glide as quickly like this. It kind of starts stopping and that means you're adding wet mascara onto dry mascaraed, mascaraed lashes. <laughs> You know what I mean. I mean, it could be a good thing or a bad thing because that means you could build it. We don't know because it's our first time using it. This thing dries quick, which is good. I like fast drying mascara. We just get it going. Okay. Oh, we're sticky. We're sticky. We're sticky. Went to go get a napkin and I didn't bring it. You guys, these bites, so good. So good. I'm just getting rid of fallout. Essence available at Ulta. I have this highlighter in the shade medium. This glowy stuff is nice because it usually gives you like a light flush of color. For Latina brown skin makeup, layering your makeup is great because it will help avoid flashback. Well, this is nice. Let me feel it. Okay, this could be a real dupe to like Charlotte Tilbury. Let me see. Damn, yeah, look. Look at this pigment. Okay, Essence comes through every time. She's thick. See how the eyeshadows, because their cool tone is bringing out that darkness in my under eye. That happens when you're using cooler shades, especially that the deeper shade is more like a eggplant shade. Not purple, but it's not red. It's like that in between. It's gonna bring out your under eyes even more. That's why color correcting is honestly part of my makeup process. I have this coloration here. I have melasma. This is covering a little bit here on my nose too. My skin is uneven and that tends to happen because the sun the sun gives us brown people damage this is definitely a dupe to the charlotte tilbury one Bad, huh? wow. okay let's let this dry covergirl has this invisible foundation apparently this is reformulated version of their old one i never tried the old ones i got the shade classic tan 160 always want to shake your liquids i really appreciate covergirl has neutral undertones for us neutral gals thank you covergirl let's see oh good tone you know i always like to feel the shade match really good it feels very lightweight very skin tint esque, but it has good pigment. You see, it's just gliding, but the pigment is staying on your skin. That's how you know something's pigmented, but it's very lightweight. It feels like water. Ooh. Let's use this NYX brush. I'm gonna grab the rest and I'm just pressing it in. This sheer, cause you can see like my discoloration. I wanted you to see how this foundation looks. It's very sheer, very natural. I think it provides good enough coverage. If you want something lightweight with some coverage, you can still see here my discoloration coming out here. Foundation does oxidize. All foundations oxidize. Drug stores tend to oxidize a lot. It's very visible. Like you can literally see it as it's happening. I always feel though the oxidation of a foundation always ends up looking good. I don't ever find that it oxidized so much where it's completely not my shade. Let's let this dry down before I blend. Because it's wet and thin, you want to give it a second, kind of adhere to the skin, and then you could blend it out. Press in pouncing motions, I would say. My neck. I don't bring foundation way down my neck or put it on my ears either. I can't do that either. Do I see sometimes it doesn't match? Yeah, but do I care? Not really. I would categorize this skin tint foundation. Lightweight for sure. Good enough coverage. I don't think it's great. It's not full coverage because you can see my discoloration on my face. Let's let this dry for about five minutes. Okay, let's color correct. I didn't buy this with our Walmart haul. This is something I literally use every day. Yellow will get rid of that purple I have. This is not meshing in well with this. It's making me look a little bit gray and it's because of the colors, which is fine. That's why these first impressions could be a hot mess. I was looking at myself, I'm like, why do I look gray? But to combat that, a little bit of yellow will help it. It kind of just looks gray in this area. You see like right here? 
It happens. This isn't new. I was really looking for cream bronzers and this is the one I found. I haven't used this in a while. And talk about the grayness of our foundation. We can fix it with this too. I wanna grab this shade. You see how it's a little warm? Mm -hmm. On my hand, doesn't it look a little more neutral? This is the light medium. Okay, let's see. That's too light. All right, this is probably a light, too light of a palette. Oops, let's mix. Okay, we can mix. Let's see this shade. Oh yeah, it's darker. Oh, now that's warmer. Okay, we'll use that one. The foundation dried down. Not really. Rehydrating. Oh yeah, it's creamy. Okay, remember it being creamy, but then I don't. You know how that happens? The only thing is this shade is too light for me. I think I need the medium deep. I believe they have it. Let me check right now. Okay, okay. Let's just add the warmth. I'm so bummed that it's too light, but we gotta make do. And then we're gonna blend this out and get that brightness back in our under eyes. Oh, look at that. First, I was like, I don't know if I'm feeling this makeup, you know? This I got in PR, Milani's Canela Cheek Kiss. This is gonna be our blush, blush highlight. Oh, look, it matches the eyes. Let's see how this is. I wanted to add a good amount because these glow blush things tend to blend away, but not Canela. Canela's coming through, okay. But you see how subtle they can become so quickly? And I love that this isn't glittery. It's a real like loony look. I'm gonna bring it up here. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Just gives you such a beautiful flush of color. This could also be a dual blush bronzer. Good, because our bronzer wasn't on and popping. If it looks too intense, it's okay because this is where we go in with our concealer. Now that we color corrected our under eyes, we won't get that gray cast that I have a feeling we would gotten with this because this shade is like neutral. I needed it to be a little warm. But let's see how it works as a concealer. I'm not, I don't know about this yet. This is gonna help highlight the skin and combat that grayness. Remember that I saw a little bit? Does it smell? No. I remember using their foundation of this one, the salicylic acid one, and I really liked it. Should I let this dry? I don't think I will. Let's just start blending and see. I feel like the longer you let it dry, like the pigment kind of just goes away, which that's very rare. I may have to resort to that Milani concealer we bought. Does this, I don't know. Okay, it's, it's working, it's working. I don't know, I just, I'm not convinced with this. We're gonna have to go with some Milani, the shade 140. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. This one we could let dry and it'll work. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. Oh yeah, this is what we needed. Am I still eating the bread? Mm -hmm. Just tap lightly on the nose. My foundation brush. Let's just blend this. Also, we can get that bronzer and blend this edge. You see how this edge is a little sharp? We can get the blush brush. Kind of just bring back a little bit. Because I have a small face, adding the concealer after will really help tone everything down. You can always go back with your foundation brush without adding additional product. Just kind of clean things up because we are going to my favorite part which is powder. I went powder shopping. I won't use all of these today. I don't know. I wish you could be here to tell me. This one's a good option because I've never used it before. But does it have Lumi to it? I don't know. You know, that's something we need to figure out. These I definitely will use later. Oh, I went to Ulta and bought this because I remember this used to be my fave. The way I'm going to show you how to set is it's going to be the way you will avoid flashback because flashback is our enemy. <laughs> you don't want that, okay? Especially when you have brown skin, a flashback, you can easily see it because a lot of times powders don't really melt in. You could have like a translucent powder a powder that works with all skin tones but if it doesn't melt into the skin you're gonna have that flashback so that's the problem with just the translucent shade i got the light medium because you know i like to set my under eyes with the same powder i mean i try to it doesn't always happen i always go with the lighter powder but i'm always risking flashback attack it's kind of one of those things you have to risk some things so luckily today we're testing makeup out and i don't have to go anywhere so if i'm looking all flashbacky it's okay we'll do a flashback test too mineral matte setting powder a good powder is a powder that is finely milled uh oh is this not finely milled a little bit let me feel it oh it is it is it is 
well, white, but okay. So I'm gonna get my powder puff. My banana powder from Essence is was my jam. I love it. And it's only like five bucks. So we're gonna get rid of any creases because creases happen, especially if you have creasy under eyes like I do. Powder is gonna help smooth the areas out and help avoid creasing. It's not gonna stop it, but it will help avoid. So you're gonna press that powder in. Press, press. And you wanna just look ahead, maybe look down like this. This is a brightening powder. So it is going to brighten. That's why it looks super light. To give us back a little bit of color, we're gonna go with this powder that has a bit of color. Even that out. And the looseness of this powder will get into all those fine lines. Oh yeah, this is nice. How is it setting? It's setting well. We're gonna pause. Go with our foundation powder, which is the L'Oreal True Match in the shade N6. Going in first with the foundation powder will help avoid flashback because you're going in with a powder that has pigment. And we're gonna set the skin lightly or as much as you want to. But you see how my under eyes are really, really light right which is done purposely we're gonna start bringing the color back onto the skin especially here so just blend 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 and just like when i say blend it's like tapping I'm tapping 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 make sure everything looks good a light set foundation powder will provide a lot more pigment than a loose translucent powder a translucent powder gives you like a very veil lightweight type of set if you don't like foundation powder and you feel like it's going to be too thick and you're going to be too powdery just do a light layer of this and then you should be good setting your makeup it's important because it holds your makeup in and it sets it down therefore throughout the day when you have skin warm it's not moving around it's not looking super shiny i know that there's people that don't use powders, but it's okay. I do. I love it. And look, it just smooths out the skin so well. Powder is that girl. This powder? Okay. I have another option besides my Maybelline Fit Me. Let's see the under eyes. Okay. Let's test this out a little more. Bake. Just like a little bit right there. Ooh. One thing that's tough, bronzer. I found this bronzer. This is the shade 420 Warm Cover Girl. Bronzers are very much lacking at the drugstore. The only bronzer that I see that's good is NYX, the Butter Bronzers, and L'Oreal's The Invaluable Line. That's it. I just could not find a brand that has more than three shades. This one, I only think they have two shades. At least I, that's what I saw. I saw Warm at Walmart and Ebony. I'm curious to see Ooh, how this looks oh oompa loompa shoot okay i just need to add a little bit then oh my god this it scared me <laughs> this is so warm i need to know why the drugstore doesn't have bronzers w what's the deal over there do you guys know let me know so here we have true match blush it's a super blendable blush this is the shade n78 sweet ginger you know I love me the L'Oreal Valuable one. I'm like, let's change it up. Let's change it up. This is a rose tone shade. She's a subtle girl. This kind of reminds me of, oh, it has shimmer, of the Armani Amore blush. Without the shimmer though. Let's get rid of this powder and see how our under eyes look. Oh, this powder is very pigmented. Okay. It does a great job highlighting. I'm gonna go back with the blush to kind of mesh in my bright under eyes with the blush. So we don't have like dark lines. I'm gonna get my very warm bronzer. <laughs> Just add a little bit of color. Well, everything is done from our bag. A lip. We're probably gonna do this lip. These are some shades I got on PR. So let's try them out. You guys, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting. Let's set the skin. Remember I told you I needed a new fan? I got it. Ooh. Oh, she's fancy. I love my little elf sponge. Crest. This is going to avoid flashback as well. It just helps melt everything. You can always go back with your powder puff. Press everything in. With the powder foundation brush. With our very warm bronzer brush. And just kind of finally finalizing everything with our blush brush. Okay. For real, let me comb this hair. Peinadita. Todo bien when your hair is combed. I'm going to do a wear test. 
It's what time is it? 12.38 to be exact. Honestly, I started at, I don't know, I would say 11, maybe 10.30. Well, let's start 11. I mean, I'm not going to do an all day wear test because girl, I have a bedtime, but I'll definitely do at least five, six hours and see how things warm up. This shade, I guess. Oh, it matches the eyes. Okay. This is L'Oreal Color Riche. What number? 635 worth it medium. Oh, okay. It's cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like a little mauve color. Really like this shade. You know, I love brown. I really need to dabble in more to like different shades. This literally smells like a lipstick. Damn, I like this. Worth it, 601. Worth it, medium, 635. We're gonna go medium. Medium is just, isn't this 635? The lip liner? Oh, they gave me a little matchy matchy. Okay, yeah, 635. A little a little combo action. Okay, let's see lipstick. Uh, it literally smells like the old school lipstick from back, back in the day, okay. It has a little bit of purple to it. So I want to do a flash test. Let's see. No, it's looking good. Looking pretty good. Okay, okay. Overall, I like how this looks. It looks, I mean, I think everything turned out pretty good. Honestly, this being my first like shop with me at Walmart or at the drugstore was really eye-opening. A few things I noticed is just the lack of shades when it comes to blushes, bronzers. There isn't many eyeshadow palettes and if they are, I saw some just that look really old school. These just, nothing's too vibrant, but nothing's a nice neutral. Felt like it's very lack Lustery at the drugstore when it comes to those three things mainly. I also feel like the lighting, and it's just not Walmart, it's also Target and like the CVS's lighting doesn't complement the makeup because you looking at it in stores looks very different from when you look at it literally as you walk outside the store. That's something I really didn't pay attention to in the past, and also a lot lately. All my drugstore makeup I've been buying online. So to walk in, and I really took my time, I saw I was in there for a good 30 to 40 minutes so that was something that I'm like okay no wonder I feel like I sometimes lean to high end a lot when it comes to powders bronzers blushes because there's a plethora of options over there rather than the drugstore something very eye-opening for me I didn't realize that but all in all the things I did not like this concealer the idea of it is great but I think it works for a spot conceal if you don't have discoloration if you don't really wear a lot of makeup this is great because it dries down in a very very thin formula and melts into your skin that's great for someone again who doesn't wear a lot of makeup i like a full coverage concealer especially because i have very dark under eyes so i need that concealer to like really finish it off for us this i've been using forever the powder i'm very pleasantly surprised how nicely this works you see how everything looks like my skin tone that's always the goal you don't want to have like that flashback i'm gonna try to take a flash photo Photograph with the lights off. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then I'll put it here. This I liked. I just don't like all the shimmer. If you like shimmer, that's great. I love the color. The color is beautiful. Like I said, it does remind me of the Armani blush without the shimmer. If they have a matte version, I would love it more. This powder is really nice, very subtle, lightweight. It's not too, too heavy, but it does provide a pow. I like the formula. This, just the shades have will have you looking like a Oompa Loompa. And there's only two, at least from what I saw. And the shade is important because obviously, and when it comes to bronzers, a very warm tone shade, the way it applies on the skin, it really just brings out that warmth. And then you look like a Oompa Loompa. If your undertone is maybe a little different, this may work for you. But if you have like a neutral, even a cool undertone, I don't think so. I don't think so. Eyebrow pencil was great, just the color wasn't. My fault though, I was trying to be all different and buy a shade that I knew probably wasn't going to work. But it runs really, really warm. Drugstore pencils are very finicky if you have brown skin or if you have deeper skin tones i always go towards the deeper shade this is bomb i love that it's not glittery and it's pigmented yet subtle this was great i just think it didn't mesh in well with this at all this i need a deeper shade but it's very very creamy i really liked it and it's only 10 bucks i like this foundation i think it works out very well for a very fresh lightweight makeup pairs well with powders and stuff nothing peeled nothing separated sometimes that can happen 
happy. The mascara is nice. I just think this type of mascara won't last too long because it's very, very drying. It does flake. As I curled my lashes, I did use my high-end curler because I can't find a good drugstore. I curled it and then it flaked. That's a sign of a foundation that is too, I mean, that of a mascara that's too dry. Usually the flaking happens if you curl your lashes well into you wearing your makeup, not an hour or two in. These two are bomb. I really like it. They are available at Ulta, not at Walmart. The lipstick's cute. A little mauve number, different from my very brown lip that I do legit daily. <laughs> How do you like this type of video? How are you liking the Latina brown skin tutorials? Me really explaining how you can look cohesive, not ashy, not flashbacky. Let me know your thoughts because I've been loving doing these more teaching videos. I'm gonna insert the wear test right here. If something changes, I'll let you know in the wear test. Of course, fam, I have to get you some daylight footage. What do you think? I love how the lip matches the eye look so well. Everything looks so cohesive right everything nice and smooth you see a little texture because we did use some shimmer under eyes look good they're super bright i'm a lot glowier than i anticipated a lot of it has to do with that essence glow and i feel like the blush had some good shimmer going it's been about six hours not too long i am seeing this bronzer has gotten even warmer than what we started everything else looks good my under eyes look really highlighted so i like that my lip is off. What do you think? Skin looks good. You see, my oils are coming through. Come shop with me, full face Walmart and some Ulta. Not bad, huh? Okay, ciao, ciao. I love you so, so much. Thank you for always taking the time out to spend part of your day with me. Comment, like the video. I really, really appreciate you. And I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.